Uh, let me get a. Let me just get a pint for right now, and then if I need more, I'll come back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thank, man, thank you, you very much. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, good it. Good luck. Be safe out there. You, all right, thanks. And what's going on, folks? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So today is one of those episodes that I'm going to hook you guys up with a location, easy kayak, easy wade, fishing location locally here in the Galveston Island. This is called Sea Island Pier. This is located right off of West Bay, a really easy wade fishing spot as well as kayak fishing spot. But I am going to show you a alternate launch and for kayak or way fishing with a map right now. And as you just saw that, I just picked up some live shrimp. So we're gonna be using some live shrimp today on a popping court. I haven't done that in a while. Sea Isle Bay Camp is like literally just a few hundred feet from where I'm at. The targeted goal is to see if we can catch some trout today. Just a little have fun and I'm gonna show you guys how to fish this area based on from my experience because I've been here many times in the past. Right here by the pier where you launch and you see those guys, hopefully you can see on the GoPro, those guys are walking down. 3.2 feet, so it's not deep at all. And this is an incoming up tide. I imagine with full tide, they'll probably get three and a half feet maybe. Uh, that's why you see a lot of wade fishermen in this area. And the, the bottom is uh, mostly mix of hard and soft soft mud, mostly hard mud. When you go out more that way, you'll, you'll feel some grass. And there could be some grass here too. So this is a good area to throw a, a top water with uh, the predatory fish kind of lurking in the grass flats. Right here to my right you see some rock growins, kind of like a mini jetty. It uh, borders the street right there where you can launch. I've seen people pull up sheep's head with live bait, live shrimp. As I said earlier I am going to start right here in the grass line. Right now it's two feet uh, dropping. I say close to the grass line is probably less than a foot. I think this is going to be my best area to target speckled trout and redfish early in the morning. All right, we are going to start off with the top water here. See if we can get something to come up and destroy this top water. There we go. There's a fish. That's a fish. It looks like a, a small red, the way he's running. It might be a trout. Nice. Caught him right here on the shoreline. I knew there was going to be fish here. Seems like a pretty strong, strong little rat red. <laughs> but that's awesome. Catch on top water. Yeah, he's going to be a small little red fish. But still so much fun to fight. I mean, this place just looks too fishy. <laughs> oh, nice little red fish there on the top water there we go check it out folks first fish today a nice uh probably 16 inch no nah, probably about 15 and a half 15 and three quarter inch red fish we're gonna let him go and uh, where i caught this little red is marked on this uh, map right now all right my man thank you so much Woo. Well, I kind of knew top water will work really well with this overcast and uh, grass flats, shallow water. Let's see if we can catch another one. Reason why I like to use top water in this area is because it's such a vast, not vast, but I mean such a wide open grass flat area that can be housing redfish anywhere, anytime. So I wanted something that rattles and really makes a racket. And as you can see, as you just saw, it does work I'm trying to get their attention. There we go. There's a fish. That was a nice blow up. It might be another small red, I think. Oh, dang, that was a nice blow up. <laughs> yeah, it's another red fish, I believe. 
Oh no, it's a nice trout. Look at that trout. Holy smoke, that's a big trout. Goodness gracious, I love the top water destructions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he got he got some good bottom in on him, but dang, that's a nice trout, folks. Right here in the shallow waters, 1.8 feet deep. He came and destroyed that top water. Oh my god. He might be pushing my PB guys. Look at this trout. Oh my god, he's, he's, oh my god, are you freaking choking me? Oh my god, look at that, holy Jesus, oh my god, look at that trout guys, are you choking me, oh my god. Definitely PB on the, uh, on the top water for sure, but let me get this guy unhooked. Oh my god, look at that trout guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a big trout. Okay, let me just get official measurement. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna let you go, I promise, girl. Let me just take some pictures here. Uh, seven pounds, 7.25 pounds per boga. My god, that's a big trout. Woo, on the top water, can you believe it? Oh my god. All right, there we go, on the top water. All right, we're gonna let her catch her breath. That's a big girl, oh my god, that's a big girl. <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe this happened. Seriously, on top water. All right, nose on the board. 26, no, not my PB, but 26, 27 and a half is my PB, but she's a fat, healthy gear. Look how thick that is at 26 with a pinch tail. All right, guys, we're gonna let her go, man. She's such a beauty. One more time, look how majestic and big she is. 26 inches, seven pounds. My PB on the uh, top water for sure. Look, you know she's a big girl. If she just ha her fat is just hanging from your hands, man. I'm super ecstatic. And this is exactly where I caught her on the map. Check it out. That pretty much satisfied my need to catch a nice fish on the top water. So I am going to go now to my other spot I like to uh, fish in this Sea Isle Pier area um, using live bait. So I am going to make a journey. It's not too bad of a journey on a kayak, but if you're weight fishing, yeah, it'd be a little bit of a journey. Nice big healthy shrimp. Pretty happy. All right, so really simple. All you do is put it through the horn right there like that. Try to avoid its heart, that black thing. And then uh, just flick it and have some fun. You need a good uh, rod and reel setup in my humble opinion in order to properly use a popping cork. We got the old 18 suppressor um, light action with the 1000 reel Shimano. There we go. Well, something did take it under, but uh, he missed it. <laughs> totally missed it. There we go, come on, go under. There we go, come on. Nope. Whatever's trying to eat it, he's a small guy. A very small guy. <laughs> Man, brother, he needs some help. <laughs> he destroyed this shrimp. Let's put a new one on. Yeah, poor guy lost his eyes. Yeah, something small is taking it. Really small dinks. Yep, small dinks right at these PVC pipes right here. Yeah, maybe I got something this time. Yeah, small little dinks, see? Oh, it's catfish, that's what it is. <laughs> My God. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, after fishing with live bait at that two PVC pipes that you saw on the map, uh, that's probably the furthest I'll go for um, wade fishing. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to head off to another spot that you'll probably use a kayak only, uh, especially a pedal drive paddling out there. Be a little bit too far in my opinion, but uh, I'm gonna get when I get there. I'm gonna start fishing, and then give you all the location on the map. So you guys stay tuned. Ugh. 
There we go, that's a fish. Trout. Oh, nice keeper trout. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's Snake Island. When uh, when the bite's on, the bite's on. That's another keeper. Look at that trout. Oh, there he goes. That was a good 16, possibly 17 inches. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he got off. All right. I mean, while I was holding him, he got off. No big deal. Oh my god, there's a fish. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. That's a good, might be a red. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like trying to give you a lure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, probably a rat red. He's pulling pretty good. No, he might be a nice trout though. Yeah, that's a very good trout. All right, let's get this guy in. Nice healthy trout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, really nice trout. Oh my god, that's a nice trout. Look at that trout. Dang, that's 20. That's 20 inches. Easy. Wow. I've been killing a trout today, man. I mean, not quantity, but quality. Dang, that's a nice trout. My god. Oh my god, he is huge. Another nice big Galveston. Close to Gator. Look at that trout. Let's just see how big he is. My god, he is, I would say, probably about at least five pounds. Let me see here. Come on, Boga. Uh, all right. Yeah, right, right what I said. Five pounds on the dot. Dang, beautiful fish. Caught him on a <laughs> popping court and live shrimp, man. It really works. <laughs> 21 and three quarters. Dude, with the pinch tail, 21, 22 inches pinch tail. Look at that big trout, guys. That's a big, she's, she's gonna be released all healthy. There she goes. Yes, strong. All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna call it quits, man. I had such a freaking awesome day, and I really hope this video helped you guys to give you some ideas and spots to wade fish and kayak fish. Uh, let me know in the comments if these helped. Uh, make sure you take my advice with a grain of salt. Everyone's a little bit different in the way they fish, but this is how I like to tackle the sand, the sand isle pier area, and um, sand isle, excuse me, the sea isle pier area. And um, usually I'm, most of the time I would say I'm pretty successful, but there are the times I've been skunked out here. I mean, uh, fishing is fishing sometimes. So uh, yeah, leave a comment guys, hit that like button. Make sure you share it with other people so they can enjoy the great sport of fishing here in the great state of Texas, especially in our home waters of Galveston. And I love every single one of you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.